as kids start a new school year, they'll be juggling new classes, new friends, new teachers, new environments, all of which could be very stressful to the child and to the parent. And here to help us navigate the challenges is Maureen Healy. Welcome, Maureen. Thank you for having me. Of course, you are a child development expert and author of a new book, The Emotionally Healthy Child. Um, you're new to the Bay Area, right? You're in That's San true. Selma with your yes. own practice. Yes. Tell us about what brought you here. Uh, doing social emotional learning work in the classroom and with parents and teachers and it's a place that has a big need and I'm excited to it, be here. It's a growing need, right? Yes. To, tell us about what you're seeing among kids and families that prompted you to write this book. Sure, great question. So like any of us, we start out usually reactive. So we start out, if we get really upset or angry, we scream, we slam doors, and uh, moving from that reactivity to responsiveness is really the path of positive emotional health, learning how to catch ourselves and make different choices. Yeah, we'll jump into those simple steps you have okay. in just a moment, but I am curious if you think in today's world, mm -hmm. there are aggravating factors that contribute to more stress among children. Because, I mean, we had to grow up, we went through our teenage years, we know it's tough, um, but is there something about today that makes it extra challenging? I would say, you know, children seem to be more sensitive than before and that there are additional stressors, whether it's just a lockdown drill in school that will cause anxiety or it's seeing different media that children see on a regular basis that cause stress. And there's, you know, the, tech, the idea of technology, cyberbullying, and that, that is another la level of sophistication. Yeah, those are all things that we didn't have to deal with, right? right? Okay, so what are the three simple steps that you have sure. listed in this book to sure. better emotional health? Three simple but not necessarily easy steps are stop, calm, and make a smarter choice. So stop. Say there's a child who pushes someone on the playground. That's his or her natural reaction. So you want, you want to help him take a, deep, uh, take a beat, take a breath before that reaction. So mm -hmm. learning how to catch and sort of have that self-awareness. Okay. And then calm. Step two, calm. Yeah, step okay. two, calm. So not many great decisions are made when we're really angry or frustrated or feeling oh, a big sure. emotion. We say things that we regret, right? That's right? So how can we maintain the calm? Right. So it's not even maintaining it, but how do we go back to center? So I see. if emotional health is the skill of balance and life throws us off balance because that's the nature of life, yeah. how do we get back to that place of calm? So the, the example of a child who pushes someone, how do they take a beat and sort of learn how to cool off before they push or hit or have a reaction right. that's not going to work out. Does that apply to parents too? Because, you know, I have kids who have played sports and they always say, oh, parents, if you're mad at the coach for something, make sure you wait 24 hours before you talk to them. Is that I a love technique? the 24-hour rule. <laughs> I've used that in my own life. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's one of the biggest feedback I get about the book, The Emotionally Healthy Child, is Forget My Children. This is really helpful t to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's great because we are learning together. Yeah. Okay. Three, make a smarter choice, you say, right? Right. So How do we do that? Yeah. So a smarter choice. So the child who pushed someone on the playground, that certainly was helpful to him. He got his anger out. Not helpful to the other child. Mm -hmm. So a smarter choice is something good for you and good for others. So with that child I work with, it's sort of like stepping back and saying, okay, could we have done that differently? Were there other choices? is available so helping him learn okay I could have walked away you know thinking about the other choices so learning how to make that smarter choice and how do we practice that is it you know through parents doing it is it talking them through it when something happens it's all of the above you know doing your best to be a good role model no one is perfect we all make boo-boos uh -huh. learning how to repair them and okay. say hey I could have done that differently and also doing our best not to be angry at children when they make those mistakes and oh, right. mess ups and saying, okay, we could have done, you know, it's not in the moment because when you're in the moment, you're emotionally hijacked. Oh, but, yeah. But maybe afterwards going back and saying, could we have done that differently? Yeah. And helping them learn in my book, The Emotionally Healthy Child, is the ideas and the tools. So how do emotions work? Okay. You know, for Good example, question. being angry. Right. Oftentimes when I talk to kids, they say, okay, how big was it? And they think, it's gigantic. I said, okay, well, you're actually bigger than that. Oh, so yes. learning how yes. things work. And then, you know what, it's not so gigantic the next day. That's Great right. tips in the emotionally healthy child. Maureen Healy, you have a practice in San Zelmo. That's right. Welcome to town, and thank, thank you for you. the advice. Thank you for having me. Reggie?